Can you speak a little bit to, and I know your organization hasn't fully implemented AIP yet, but you, you mentioned um, the LLMs that Palantir is trying to help build with AI infrastructure into an organization it connects with the concept of an ontology because of guardrails. Can you speak to that? What does guardrails have to do with the sort of common foundation of truth, which is the ontology? And how does that actually accelerate the implementation of LLMs into a company uh, in a more efficient way? Like, why do they need the ontology that they've been working on for 20 years to be able to get to this AIP platform? Because you need to understand what relationships are related to what different pieces of data, right? So if you're looking at, if you're like, what is... <clears throat> What's asset, if you just say, use it in simple terms, what's asset name? Asset name might be 30, 40 different wells that tie back to one form, what one facility. And so if you ask AIP and you're like, what is asset name's performance for yesterday? It's not going to go and tell you the well number one made 30,000 barrels a day. It's going to tell you wells one through 40 on this particular asset made 30,000 barrels or 40,000 barrels. Right. Uh, and you could say, what is our best performing asset today? Uh, that is nice, but we don't own 100% of all the assets, right? We go into partnership with other super majors or other small companies to help eliminate risk and or at least uh, shield yourself from capital exposure against risks and uncertainties, right? I mean, it helps if uh, you kind of have 50% of two assets than 100% of one, because if one goes down, you know, it's that whole diversification aspect of things. So it'll allow you to kind of be like, well, do you care about the gross number or do you care about the net number to undisclosed oil company? Right. Because, you know, obviously we also have to pay royalties to the government and, you know, we have to pay 12 and a half to, to 18 and three quarters percent of every barrel that we produce to the government in the Gulf of Mexico. So it, uh, it all just depends on what you're doing. If you just ask a simple question, it's going to give you a very broad answer back. Right. So that's guardrails. If you don't have the right, sort of models set in place, it'll just give you back garbly gook. And so the ontology is important because if you classify classification of your data as appropriate, then whatever you get from AIP is hopefully after some time and some iteration going to be a lot better and a lot more useful. And it's going to make things a lot quicker. Now it's not going to be day one sort of implementation, but I'm assuming after six months of trial error, um, you know, and, and I'm sure there's always going to be mistakes, but I think after some time, after two to three years, once you've guardrailed it enough and, and built the connections as you would expect, um, and the keywords, right, as well, like you have to think some keywords or some questions might be related to some pieces of data versus others. Um, so if you're talking about CPM, for example, on your Google um, YouTube page. It's not going to be looking at, impressions. Yeah, it's not going to be looking at your Twitter feed, is it? Like, no. you, so yeah. It, it, yeah. So it's like you have to think how each one of those pieces of questions and the keywords are going to be associated with particular categories within your ontology. That truly will make it impactful, uh, and also will help if you do it appropriately. Speed up your your engines, right? Because at the same time. If you have a key word related to more particular items that it needs to be, then it's going to take longer to compute. And if it takes longer to compute, it's going to be more expensive for you to be keep running that sort of system, right? Because it has to work harder, work harder, and you're getting charged for that particular usage case. So you have to think, um, you know, it, it actually kind of goes back to what Snowflake was talking about, like depending on the data set, you know, if you shrink it and you have it more appropriately lined up, you're actually going to make your your engines way quicker. And so that's why some of their revenue is being lost because they're trying to make things more efficient. Um, it's the same sort of concept, right? If you don't have it set up appropriately, it's going to take longer. It's not going to be as efficient. Um, but yeah, anyway, hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully I'm making it oh, as, as generic as possible. I don't want to get too technical on it. Right. The, the, the relational databases between... Uh, any types of assets within an organization have to be formed, have to be understood, have to be optimized. Like, I mean, the keyword analogy is perfect on Google. Like if you type in Palantir, there is a certain number of creators that are going to pop up because YouTube's algorithms have optimized that keyword to show certain search results because they believe that's the you know content that people should watch. Mm -hmm. Same thing I would imagine an organization and that has to be formed over some time within an ontology for AIP to even have any use case to be able to then give results to people when they type in things mm -hmm. into the LLM. Um, 